At least 39 people were killed in a fire at a migrant detention center on the U.S.-Mexico border. The fire spread through the migrant processing center in Ciudad Juarez. About 70 people are believed to have been inside that center when the fire broke out. The facility is located near the staten Liardo Bridge, which links Mexico to the United States. Local media say that the building was holding migrants who had been picked up by authorities on Monday. There has been no official statement about what may have caused the blaze, but local newspapers reported that there had been disturbance inside the center just before the fire broke out. Authorities say that the late night fire at the Office of National Migration Institute occurred after they picked up 71 migrants from the streets in the city. The victims' nationalities have not been released, but many of the victims are thought to be Venezuelans trying to make their way to the United States. The incident has once again brought to the spotlight questions of migrant detention centers and the conditions under which they operate. For more on this, we are joined by journalist and author Michael Dybert. He's joining us live from Baltimore here in the United States. Michael, thank you so much for joining us. This is such an unfortunate incident. You know, on the one hand, we talk about border security time and time again on both sides of the border. On the other hand, we really don't see the proper measures being taken, not here in the United States and definitely not in Mexico either. What are your thoughts? Well, I mean, as someone who has reported from Ciudad Juarez, uh, the idea, the term security is not really one that comes to mind when I think of the city uh, for, for a lot of different reasons. Of course, uh, I think it's relatively well known that uh, over the years, it's been a, a disputed territory for different drug trafficking organizations that are bringing their product to the market in the United States. And, you know, also these kind of criminal groups uh, prey on, on vulnerable people. So migrants are about as, as vulnerable as you can get. Uh, just earlier this month, actually, there were um, migrant shelters and advo advocacy organizations sent an open letter uh, complaining about the treatment of migrants and asylum seekers in the city, saying they were being harassed by the police and their their various, you know, the conditions in which they were being held. So what what I mean, you've been reporting for so long and I know that you've you've been such a vocal advocate of more compassion. Uh, what needs to be done on the one hand? You know, people say that it's really the drug cartels at the end of the day and these human trafficking cartels that are benefiting from not only the insecurity that's happening, but also from uh from from this inhumane situation that's been going on for so many years, what needs to be done? Yeah, I mean, I think you have this really uh, draconian uh, immigration policy, uh, you know, in, in the U.S. I mean, you know, so in February, the U.S. had created this new rule that basically prohibits migrants who have traveled through other countries on their way to the border with the U.S. and Mexico from applying for asylum in the U.S. So a lot of them are being now held in Mexico as they're trying to apply for asylum and whatnot. And, you know, Lopez Obrador, uh, the president of Mexico, is, is seems very happy to act as the jailer for the U.S. basically. <laughs> so many components to this tragedy. Thank you so much for joining us on We On, and we look forward to speaking to you again very soon. Thank you. Have a good day.